Ladies and gentlemen, recently a snow owl was spotted in New York, Manhattan, and it drew quite a crowd. You know, people started looking and this snowy owl it really should be in the Northeast. You know, it's a cold weather uh, fowl, right? So you would think it would be here. And they said it used to be here all the time at one point in time. And that was 130 years ago. So the last time a snowy owl was spotted in the Northeast was 1890. And now they're making a comeback. So this came out in the New York Times, January 28th, 2021. In the winter of 1890, a snowy owl was spotted in New York Central Park, part of what a contemporary account called an unusual abundance along the East Coast of large, strikingly beautiful predators that made their way home from the Arctic tundra. So it was very common for them to leave the Arctic and come on the East Coast back then. Unusual is right. The snowy owl, according to birding records, did not show a fluffy, you know, its fluffy self in Central Park for 130 years. Then came Wednesday morning. A birder who runs a Twitter account, Manhattan Bird Alert, read about an owl sighting on track. So, you know, it sounded an alarm. And of course, people went out there to look and sure enough, there was this snowy owl out there in Central Park. Hordes came running, cameras and spotting scopes in hand. And the snow white raptor with thick black bars marked, you know, of course, in the feathers. They said this particular owl is a female. So this is a female snowy owl that was spotted in Manhattan, drew crowds. So there was an owl, and actually there is a picture here of people all standing around, you know, a lot of them just looking at it. Um, there was an owl sitting atop of a chain link fence coming for a landing near third base. And they said they saw another one. And this was in a place called North Meadows. Thrilled to share the excitement with fel uh, fellow birders. So they said the crowd began to draw and Andrew Lang, who's a candidate, um, showed up with campaign signs. Well, and people weren't thinking about you, Andrew Lang. They were looking at the owl. The owl also got the attention of the park's avian residents. A flock of crows flew down to harass her, trying to drive her out. But owls actually eat crows. Interesting. So they were trying to drive this owl out, but they said this, you know, the owl is actually a predator to the crow. Okay, then a red tail hawk buzzed over the bird, over the owl's head. I guess they wanted her out. They wanted this thing gone. They like, this is our Central Park, not yours. That's really interesting. You know, I mean, I wouldn't mind seeing something like that. A snowy owl, and it's supposed to be here. You know, I mean, these folks, when they came to take over the land, you notice everything just went into decline. Even the animals that used to be here are gone. Even they had sense to get the hell up on out of here. <laughs> they even left. It was like, yeah, this place used to be fun. Now that these folks are here, we're leaving. I don't blame them. Okay, so they're talking about bird enthusiasts are, you know, excited about the snowy owl making a, a return after a long history of being gone from Central Park. Um, but the birder behind Manhattan Bird Alert, David Barrett, 
a retired hedge fund manager who started the account in 2013 said he was performing a public service and building support for conservation efforts. If you want people to care about nature, he said, you should show them that it's there and let them appreciate it for themselves. So by Thursday morning, the Central Park snowy owl um, was nowhere to be found. So she apparently left or could be still there. I mean, Central Park is a big area. It could be there. You just didn't spot it again. So that's interesting, you know? So this animal disappeared at one point in time and 130 years later has made a reappearance in Central Park. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I'm in a neighboring state and I sure hope one day I can go out and spot one myself. It would actually be very nice. You know, it would be nice if we could see all of the animals that were once here before everybody's life was disrupted. But please tell me what you think. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell. And I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.